starting on a half width style hammock it to save weight it only has a bug net that covers the top half with the thinking that your top quilt or sleeping bag will cover the bottom half and the goal of this is to get it all under 15 ounces it's got black 1.3 ounce mountain material some uh, green uh, no CM mesh green thread and I'm going to be making a Cuban fiber double-ended stuff sack. So this is a 1.3 ounce mountain fabric hammock with a 0.55 ounce no seam netting and it's made in like a half width style hammock and it has a DCF uh, stuff sock. And this is a double ended bishop bag and uh, the nice thing about these is you can keep the straps in them. I got the straps. These are Kevlar straps. I didn't have any uh, Kevlar materials, so these I got from Autumn Ultralight. And got the tie outs in there for that. And then, as you can see, it looks like a bishop bag on the inside of it. So, I'm going to get this set up and uh, show you some more details of it. So, we did a uh, black fabric, and this is green. It supposed to be green, no seeing much. We did a green stitching on it and where the net is I put a third row of stitching, the black stitching through there just to give it a little extra strength and it's got uh, it's got tie outs just uh, a lot of hammocks have two tie out points this one uh, we're trying to save weight it's just got one and they clip off and you put them back on if you want them. And it, the way it adjusts, you just lift this up and pull that down and let go. It'll lock in place. And if you want to loosen it, just lift it up like that and loosen it and let it go again. And it locks it in place. It won't, it won't move as soon as you let go of it. The way we did this, uh, this net, has, it can move up out of the way. Or it can move down here and get tighter. And then inside here, got this prusik thing, and there's a uh, on this zingit line, and there's a little slide lock here. You can squeeze it and lower the net, and that kind of uh, that kind of waiting on that bike to go by. That kind of uh, allows you a little bit more length on the net and if if you want it. And then, so what I did with this, instead of just having that tail hang. I stuck it down inside of the um, inside of the zingit, but instead of doing a Brahma lock and all that, since it has no no stress on it, I just stuck it in there to uh, make it pretty. So if you want to undo this and do something different, all you got to do is grab a hold of that and it'll pull right out. And then the length of the line, I left it long. You can figure out where you need to put it at and then uh, cut it for that length. Stuff sack here, put all this net in. And the reason for that stuff sack, it serves two purposes. First of all, it gets the net out of your way so you can get in and out of the hammock a lot easier. If you just have it laying down here and then go to sit in it, you can end up pulling on the net pretty hard and it's kind of hard to get it out of your way. So if you use that stuff sack and just uh, put it up out of the way, um, while you're getting in and out it makes it a lot easier or getting your bag situated or whatever you need to do so i'm going to get inside here and show you what it looks like from the inside so once you get inside the hammock um all you gotta do is reach out here and pull the neck let it drop down from the uh, stuff sack and then this uh, all close around you and the idea behind this uh 
net only covered half of you is as you can see my legs are protected from the mosquitoes and everything so instead of wasting the weight of a full net this covers you and it seals up really nice and uh, protects you from the bugs so it works out pretty good so I'll uh, now I'll give you a look from the inside so this is the view from the inside as you can see I guess you can see from the light seals it up pretty good and one other thing with this stuff sack is uh if you use a headlamp which a lot of people do you could drop your headlamp in there and turn it on and then you got uh light if you want it or if nothing else you'll, you'll have quick access to uh your light you so you're not fumbling around looking for it at night and then uh what i did for a ridgeline organizer is uh i made this uh it's hard to see um zoomed up so right so with the ridgeline organizer as you can see the uh ridgeline is above the net so you can't really put a regular ridgeline organizer in there and if you put one, it'd be outside, so every time you need to get something out of it, you're going to have to get out of the net, and then all the mosquitoes are going to come in, and all that good stuff. So what we did is we got these little hooks up here, and uh, um, we got these mitten hooks attached to them, to these little triangles, one there and one there. And what I did is, uh, with this bag, it has uh, an opening so you can put a water bottle or something in there and it's got a little lip here to kind of keep it from coming out i was afraid if i clicked it clipped this one up there it would be sitting at such an angle your water bottle would fall out so what i did is uh attach that string to it to kind of level it out some and then um uh, i left the string you can adjust it do however you want to get it set up for the way you want it right now it's sitting pretty level the way it is so you can put you got two pockets in here and then uh of course you're opening to put your stuff in and on the other side it's the same way um that way i'm i'm laying head right foot left so i got the bag on the left side but if you want to sleep head right head left and feet right then you can put the bag on the other side and then use these pockets. That's the way I designed it like that. Um, I noticed uh, whenever I was making this thing that right up in here, it didn't, the net didn't, it wanted to keep making a big gap. So I did some stitching right along there to hold it in place on both sides because uh, it was um, getting too... Uh, it, it was creating a big opening and then it had a big flashing neon sign for the mosquitoes that says enter here and you know a little arrow flashing so i put some stitches on there to hold that in place better and uh so this is it you got room in here to move around my waist is down here down, uh, right below the edge of the net and then i got all the room above me and everything so and then if you want to, you can uh, lower this down and bring the net down and it, it'll give you a little bit more length, but I don't think you'll, you'll need to do that because it's, uh, I don't think you'll need to do that because it, there's plenty of net there. So this Dyneema bag, it's got this little pouch here for your straps and then it's got a round bottom in there like a bishop bag, but it works the same way as a double-ended stuff sack. You tie up this end first and then open up that end and just pull the hammock out. And we have uh, breeze buck, not breeze buckles, but um, Beckett loops. We have Beckett loops up here and it's got black and gray on the head end. And then uh, down on the other end, you have the uh, um, solid black. One nice thing about the uh, Beckett loops is if you just had a continuous loop and had the Beckett hitch tied on there, it's hard to, to get, once you've laid in, it's hard to get it untied. This loop allows you to get the weight off and pull in the opposite direction that you're pulling on this. Makes it a whole lot easier to get them untied.
I tried to get this down below 15 ounces hammock net and suspension and uh, I kind of did it came out to 14.95 ounces but then when you add the the ridgeline organizer and the uh, tie outs it, it brings it up from 14.95 ounces to 16.20 so uh, just a little over 15 ounces because of the uh, Ridgeline organizer and, and uh, tie outs, but um, still uh, a pound, you know, 16 ounces is a pound, so a hair over a pound for the complete setup ready to hang, uh, hammock, bug net, and your suspension. Uh, it's not bad at all.